At all. It is time, everyone, for Shadow of Judgment. We just did water, so now we're moving to the next side. So who will be the next side? Oh, air signs. Page of Wands. Y'all are snooping. Y'all are spying. Y'all are looking for info. For anyone wondering what Shadow of Judgment is, this is where I go for your weeklies. This will be for the week of the 16th to the 23rd. The 23rd. 23rd. This is where we look at the nooks, the crannies, the hidden, the subconscious, the shadow side. Boop your nose to see what's going on in the background during your week. Either you could be doing it, either somebody else could be doing it. Maybe you don't even know what's going on, but we're going to find out. Air signs, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. Just check your charts and understand that it won't work if you don't believe in it. Or it will. You'll just be surprised. Right? And if you want a personal reading, my email, Facebook, and Instagram are all down below, though I prefer my email. Right? First reading is free of charge. Everything else comes with a price, and I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly. Gemini, you're up first. I totally kind of made that. No, actually, I made that worse. I shouldn't have touched it. Anyway, Gemini, you have the world reverse. Something is kind of funky. You might even have some bad karma with Saturn, because that's Saturn's card. Right? Right. But there is a victory here. And look at look who look who's snooping. Look who's snooping. Is that you snooping? Like that is your weekly card, y'all, but shit. What y'all snooping for? Mmm. Oh well there's the answer to that question. Ask and you shall receive, Faith Down. Do you do? Do you do? What the fuck? Like, okay, this is like kind of, like, is, did someone think that there was a victory in not offering their cup up to somebody who's spying? Or someone was victorious by not offering their cup? Or, I don't know, it, that, I mean, that, that just popped up right there. Uh, wish fulfillment, someone's getting what they wish for as they look up information. Nine of cups right there. Ooh, something did not bear very good fruit. I think someone like jokes. Someone took a joke too far, or somebody said something that was wrong, and it came out the wrong way. Is that what happens? Because the door is closed now. Someone got what they wished for with the door closed, but now they're snooping behind the scenes. Oh, okay. Well, oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Ah, come here. Where you go? You're all the way on the floor. Oh, that's some deep shit if it's all the way the heck there. Okay. Gemini, your weekly shadow. Let us see. I feel like this is going a little bit faster, so I'm kind of happy about that. But, you know. I feel like I was dragging ass last week, and I don't know why. But back to you, Gemini, because this all is all about you. It looks like something ended wrong with the world reversed. Or like, like so this is Saturn's car, so it's, uh, limitations, obstacles galore. And I feel like what happened was there was a good time being had, but like looking back on it, something happened. Like maybe people were playing around too much. Maybe people were just having that too much of a good time. Maybe people didn't think about how much of a good time they were having while they were having it, but now that they're looking back on it, it's just kind of like, oh man, like, I still got feelings about this, but all of it's knocked over, right? Like, someone's snooping, even though they're with the Nine of Cups, kind of sitting there like, yeah, I get what they want, but they're still on the snoop out for what happened over here, because what they got, they got what they wished for with the door being closed, but it's like they're still curious, they're still interested, they still want to know. Like, they feel like a victor not offering their cup up. And they are walking away to great joy. But somebody is having a lot of anxiety and trouble sleeping. I think you both kind of think of each other. 
whoever this is, this Gemini. Mind you, cross watchers, switch where you need to. Don't be telling me, you know, like, oh, this isn't me, or this isn't that person, or blah, blah, blah. You know, take what's yours and everything else with a grain of salt. Apply where necessary. Use your imagination, if you will. Yes? But it's kind of like someone just... It's like there's two people. One is going to better places, but they still think of the other one over here who's really sad about how things went. But in truth, like... Only one of them snooping after they got what they wished for and closed a door, Gemini. So I don't know what this actually is I'm looking for. Okay. Why did... Okay, what's up with this four of wands? Because this could be you, Gemini. You might have had your head turned upside down, too. Uh, this might also be a pairing that's been separated, and that's why there's two different people I'm feeling like. So what's up with this four of wands reverse? There's a king of pentacles right here. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Someone may feel like they're owed something or a mooch. Um, holding out strength. Possibly Leo right here. Someone might be a beauty. But they're probably really holding back that beast like, uh, 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 you do not eat that tuna. You do not eat that tuna. That is not your dinner, you know, just be it all cranky, not offering their cup up or anything like that. Ignoring their intuition and just not really going to battle anything, but just running away. And that could be you, Gemini, I'm just, you know, putting out there. But it's like... It's like this uh, King of Pentacles isn't focused on this Knight of Swords. It's almost like a cut of communication too, ghosting, shit like that. I'm not sure about the strength card because it's kind of like... It, it is restriction to me, but I don't think it has anything to do with this cup. It's almost like a restriction of their... Uh, you know, Earth signs tend to be very passive-aggressive. Like, we're not the kind of people who, um, go looking for a fight, but goddammit, if you disrespect us, we'll either, like, let you know that, or we won't, and we'll just, like, be like, fuck it, I, I, I don't need to deal with your shit. I, I, like, I don't have to put up with anything about you. You can just go away for all I give a shit. That's how most Earth signs are, like, but, um, if we try to determine to you that we want your respect, we want you to give us a little bit of respect, and, or better yet, if we tell you to stop disrespecting us or some shit like that, and you keep doing it, like, that would make sense to me, because then I'd just be like, ooh, I gotta hold this shit, okay, that's fine, you go your own ways, but that's almost what it feels like. Gemini, so you might be dealing with an earth sign who might be giving you shit. So maybe ghosting them is for the better if they're doing that to you. Or they're doing that to you thinking that you're giving them shit. But I don't know, it's kind of weird. But that's your shadow for the week, Gemini. Let's see what's going on with Libra. Li -li -li Libra, Libra. Beautiful Libra. Libra with weird socks. What? Okay. Alright, Libra, let's see what's going on with you for your week. Ah, uh, someone's insecure. That's nice. Someone's always insecure with you guys, I swear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so... Someone's insecure to the point of, like, withholding shit about being upset about how things might have went down, possibly third party, shit like that, right? Ooh. Yeah, I'll take those. Fuck it. They popped up for a reason. Um, I want to, uh, usually I would say, you know, like, ending petty fights, but I feel like this is making it worse. Um, there's some truth that I think someone's either withholding or withdrawing themselves from, and all of this sulking right here is just, like, causing everything to be stuck. Dear Christ, Libra. <laughs> Does anyone remember the soap opera Passions? That's how a Libra fe reading feels for me today. For some reason, Libra readings always come off to me like Teresa from Passions. 
just that kind of dra drama shit and it's just it's always crazy with you guys i swear but i love it it's like an addiction it really is it's just like what's gonna happen next oh my god you know let's see um knight of wands trying to make an offer knight of well that's the knight of pentacles this is the knight of wands he's not doing shit then we got the Emperor just scowling, looking away at shit, trying not to pay attention. Then we got Capricorn's card, so it could be Capricorn making a delivery right here. Or something, I don't know why. Um, ship from the past. And Balance, you're in that one too, Libra, so let's see. You're weak. I'm sorry I compared you to Teresa from Passions, a lot of people don't like her. When I was a kid, I liked her. I always felt bad, because I felt like she had the life right for everything and then as I got older I kind of realized no Teresa's just a really bad liar and she makes everything worse by just not being honest like she's got she had a good heart well you know you, you can't have a good heart and be a good person if you're doing fuck fuck shit right but it always reminds me of that I also love Timmy Timmy was awesome I felt sad that he died it creeped me out he died the same year as, or on the same day as his character in the show too I always thought that was crazy. Let's see. Somebody's insecure about the truth and they're not trying to run to make any sort of passionate action with the uh, Knight of Wands right here. Something about the past that I think that they walked away from. Now there's a lot of fucking squabbling that's just, it seems like it's getting worse and worse. When, or someone's thinking that like some kind of fight is going to be really bad if they offer something. Possibly a Capricorn, also Taurus or Virgo, but it's like, it's something to a very bad relationship. Hey kitten, are you trying to climb on my leg? Yeah, you are. What are you doing? Why are you, are you invested right now? I'm trying to do my reading, dude. Yes, I know. Don't you dare. Don't you do it. Why are you doing this to me? Okay. But yeah, there's the devil right here. And what's going on with this is, um... Sorry, she's literally, like, sitting right in front of me. Like, I'll take a picture and show you guys later. But she's... But, like, it's literally like someone wants to make an offer to the devil. But they gotta go through all of this bullshit fighting first before it'll work. So, that's got someone really sad. Like, super duper sad. Kitten, you're being ridiculous. You really are. And I'm trying to do a reading. Like, very badly, madam. No! Get off the table! You know better. That was very rude. I don't appreciate that. You know very much better. So anyway, like, someone's definitely mauling over how things went on. Like, I feel like they still got feelings and shit. But they're too obsessed with how the cups went over and got knocked over and, like, just spillage everywhere. I mean, like, it's like they, they think that all this grieving and all this mourning and stuff is, like, their future. Which is really creepy when you think about it, because it's just like, it's not really your future, but okay, man, whatever. Please don't do that, though. Alright, I love you. And because they're so focused on, like, making this sadness their future, that it's keeping them stuck. But they're in Emperor Reverse, and it's like, you know what, I have to have control, I have to be in control, I have to have it this way, I have to have it that way, and it's like, no you don't, like, you're just kinda, it's like someone's panicky. Like, they're too worried about how things will go down in order to, um, get something done, because it's a call for balance, like, it's almost like someone thinks that they gotta fight to get somebody else to offer to the devil, but in reality it's like, no, you make an offering to the devil. Like, your soul. Because that's how he works, I guess. So, at least that's what people have told me from, like, the westernized Christian Christian religion, you know? Which I, I, I've never understood that. I've never understood why everybody thinks that it's only those two creatures that exist out outside of our current 
realm of existence here. I, like, I, I, like, to me, I think there's something else. But, you know, that's just me. So, like, let's see, what should we ask about? What's up with this devil? What is up with the devil? Because I really want to know. Uh oh. Well, first things first. Dit, dit. Somebody needs to make a decision, possibly about an earth sign. Everyone's getting a freaking earth, I swear. Uh, probably things that they are owed something or they are a mooch, right? Because the king really doesn't offer anything he's taking right now. Uh, there's no communication going on because someone is kind of selfish. Probably thinking too much about themselves, holding their cup out, cup behind them like mine. You can't have it. They got some secrets to reveal. Could be a Pisces, definitely, or a Cancer. Uh, might even be Scorpio as well. Uh, secrets get revealed. Someone tried to walk away for better joy because, like, there were options available and they wanted to be a Queen of Wands. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not sure if that answered, like, are you trying to fight to get somebody to be with you and offer more to you, but it's like it's a bad relationship or a bad connection? I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know. I don't know if I like that, guys. Like, whoever is doing that. Like, I don't know if that's a good idea. You might be dealing with a Leo Sag Aries, right? Most likely Sag. Or in Aries, because that's there. But it's kind of like, I don't know. I, 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 It's like someone's trying to bribe somebody to be in a relationship that's um really bad for them. Because look at, like, this is like excessive fighting. This is like squabbling over nothing. And I'm not sure if that's a good deal, Libra. If you're in a situation like this, don't give to this relationship. If someone's trying to do this to you, um... Don't take that shit, because it's like, what, what's the point in all this? There needs to be balance. There needs to be more given. Like, you know, this person gives to, like, people over here, and this person over here needs something. The only difference is they got red in their pocket, and that red signifies power, and that could be used to, um, overlook the person who needs money, too, just because they have, like, some sort of valuable item. You know, it's kind of like I, like, I don't know, it's like someone wants you to feed the devil. I don't know, I don't get it. But that's yours, Libra, it seems like. How strange. Alright, Aquarius, it's your shadow. Hopefully Kitten doesn't try to get on the table. Don't you get on that table, please. Ooh, you okay? This board's almost fell. Yes. Alright, Clarice, we're going to see what's in your shadow. Sorry. I've been distracted by my kitties. They ain't seen me all day. It's already getting late. And I got home at a horrific time. Usually I would be off on Fridays, but, like, I had to work today, so... Oh, all yours pretty much came out, Libra. Not Libra. Uh, Aquarius. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Then we got the Empress right here. She is... Um, a little bit bitter. Might be an overbearing mother. Might be an ungrateful spouse. But then we got a mother figure over here. So we got two bitches. Two very different bitches. If I was still doing the counterparts, this would be the divine feminine. This would be a karmic trying to emulate her, right? So I'm going to try to do sneaky shit, Aquarius. Uh, this bitch over here is looking for a good time. This bitch is a little mentally overwhelmed. And all has to do with grief in some manner. Mm. Bup, bup. This is like two opposing parties. But I don't think in a bad way. At all, Aquarius. Wow. Yours came out pretty smooth, so apparently my cards definitely have a message for you. They only do that for specific reasons, okay? So we got a Queen of Pentacles over here who's a bit miffed. She's asking for a lot more. Just being like, I expect people to give some to me too. 
But she's not really given to anybody else either. Um, she's looking to have a good time, celebrate, and she's willing to travel to calmer waters to do that. The thing is, though, is that she's kind of looking over all the stuff that's gone on in the background. Just seeing how everything's accumulated. Like, man, should I harvest now or should I wait a little bit longer? Now, somebody who does want to sneak away because there's some grief involved with the commitment right here. It involves these two right here, where someone is definitely looking back on the things, but at the same time, they're also thinking of um, the Empress when she was young, because this is actually the Empress when she was a young woman. This is her as an adult now, so. There might be this idea of this person um, trying to get her themselves established. They might be listening to a higher facility here as well. Now, this Empress person, she is presently, you know, standing on her throne. But there were things that were going on in the back of her head that was just kind of driving her crazy. When it came to trying to work things out with different types of people, trying to communicate. And she didn't want to try to work on things. Or it could be about, like, mental stresses about the job, relationship with your coworkers. Maybe you're having an affair with a coworker. I don't know how those work, really, when you have to see somebody every freaking day, but, you know, what it is. Um, but it all accumulated from when she was younger and finally, like, it got herself settled. It's just kind of like, she, it's almost like she had to move away from the bullshit, take the time to look over all of it, and then, like, finally was just like, uh, I don't know, this is the person you've been dealing with, just thinking about, you know, um, taking off and shit in order to become the young empress, right? Surprisingly, I, I also have, like, the three of pentacles reverse over on this side. So, we'll have to see. Let's see. What should we look at for you, Aquarius? Let's look at the seven of pentacles, because I'm interested in what he's looking at. Right? What is it that he's been looking at over all this time? When it comes to whether or not he should harvest or not. Oh, betrayal. Well, you know, so, yeah, you know, sometimes... You, you gotta... Oh, dear God. Wow, okay. So, Aquarius... This person... Mm. Just a couple more. Cause, because there, there's definitely, like... That, a story here. Okay, Aquarius. When it comes to what this person's looking back on... Either they felt betrayed and a door slammed in their face, or you felt betrayed and a door slammed in your face. Either way, it probably got you all pissed off. But there is a water sign involved here. Trying to validate their own emotions because they're not listening to their intuition. Which is kind of weirding me out a little bit because I don't understand where he comes from. Mind you, it could be a Pisces for sure because of the High Priestess, but also Cancer or Scorpio. But I don't like mixing these together because I don't know why. It just feels like if there's an other water card, I don't like saying it's the High Priestess because she's completely separate. I mean, she can be a water sign, but I don't like saying it when there are other water signs present. I don't know why. I'm just weird like that. But it's like... I don't know. It's like you're all. It, it likes you. It's like you get all upset at a water sign for some reason. And it's like no one's listening or thinking or paying attention to the higher being or any of that shit. It's like they're just playing out, just ignoring things that they already were known or aware. And it's like they're surprised or like they just want to jump somebody. It's like you want to pull somebody by their hair, yank them out of the house, beat them in the middle of the yard, and then just start making out with them while the sprinklers come on at like 1.30 in the afternoon. One of those things, you know, like, it, I don't know why that, but that scenario kind of makes sense too. I knew an Aquarius who did that. She was fucking nuts, but it made sense. I don't know why. But, that's your week, Aquarius, and that's the end of the reading air signs. Yay, yay, yay. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, of course, please like, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. No pressure, of course. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you later. Love yous. Bye-bye.